Hey, it's Ed here. On today's video, we're taking a look at technical analysis for Bitcoin with Elliott Wave Theory. On this video, we're taking a look at this one hour time frame uh, chart and mostly focusing again on the same, same sideways range that we've been since um, 21st of June. So quite a while ago, we started this range and it has been going very much sideways ever since. I'm not going to go do uh, detail into the higher time frames because that is something that has not changed at all and we have covered that in the previous videos. So if you're interested in that, check out the previous video. But let's take a closer look what we've had here on this range that we've been since that 21st of June. So overall, again, if we are not going to go with the Elliott Wave first, check out this. Uh, we're just going to be looking at, um, looking at these uh, levels basically that have been interesting. So overall, uh, we created a low, uh, we created a double bottom, again, creating a lot of liquidity down below, and then we created a new high. We took out the previous high here with swing failure pattern and took the price down, did not reach this low here. So again, it left liquidity down below. Um, this became the new range high. And since then, again, we came down and we climbed up correctively all the way up to this previous daily level uh, that was very long time ago set. And again created a new swing failure pattern here created a potential uh well in LA terms it would be a one two potential and then created a daily level again this daily level has not been hit yet uh same as this naked point of control uh which both of which again are interesting to me uh later on uh at this point we could probably update another naked point of control right here around 29.799 or 29.800 um and again that's very interesting again range value area lows and the highs uh, have been respected multiple times we had them touched here and this was again part of that resistance as range value area high um point of control interesting with a naked point of control i would be expecting a some kind of a retest of this area at least and then some kind of pivot if the price is willing to go up there but that's uh, all the levels that I'm interested. Again, we took out the low range low, we had the liquidity, and now we are pushing, pushing the price up at least temporarily. So that's all of that. Let's take a look at how Elliott Wave is uh, uh, trying to explain this at least. So there was a couple of different variants um, how we wanted to present this overall. Uh, I think this is the one that I'm currently happiest with. Um, where we have this as an ABC coming down into wave A of high degree, then W, X, Y. Um, this could be uh, uh, ABC as well with expanding diagonal in here, like so, does not really matter. Both are fine, both are completely fine. So ABC, WXY, whatever you want. Um, and then this would be the B wave at these tops. And again, that would be retracing well beyond the one, uh, one to one, meaning this high here. We did not reach a 1.236, which is definitely one of the targets, but again, we had that swing failure pattern of these previous highs. Um, so again, liquidity wise, this was a weak and then coming down. Then as we have already taken out the origin of wave A here for this potential B wave, the expectation would be a uh, fast move to the downside, which is a C wave in impulse wave. And again, at that point, again, we would be looking for an impulsive structure coming down. Um, we had a very impulsive structure coming down as a potential one, two, potential one, two here, three, four, five, three, four, five. So again, at that, that uh, idea would be that this would be the last leg and that last leg would be taking out this double bottom liquidity here and then pushing the price up. That is exactly what happened now. And again, we don't know what is going to be happening now um but this is how it played out so far so since this was put in place now this potential fifth wave we could be looking starting to looking for what is coming up next well this is the interesting part here we are very close to this one-to-one -one. so we have two options currently at this moment it does look like this is a pretty decent far, uh, far away move again we are very low time frame so i wouldn't take this too grounded, uh, but again, it can be labeled as five. 
I like it, that's five. Um, I think on smaller time frames we have divergence here. Yeah, we do, um, between the potential third and fifth. So that's that. Um, the interesting thing here is that we are already around the one-to-one. -one. Now, the question is, is this going to be a wave one, two, one, two, since we did not take out the high of, or did not tag the, this one-to-one -one extension, this could be a one, two, one, two. Invalidation for that idea is down here. If, however, we take out this low, I don't think there is any, um, any, well, confusion about what this is. At that point, again, this becomes an ABC. I don't think it makes any sense to have this as a one, two, three, four, five. Can it be? Of course it can. But the substructure is just, I don't really like it. Um, I really like this being more as an ABC or a one, two, one, two. So those are the two options that I would be currently looking for at this point. Now, what and which one of these fits better? Well, the idea still on a higher time frame is that this would be a start of something because this consolidated so long, it is more probable that this have created a potential B wave in here. So this would be a wave A, wave B, and then looking for that wave C to the upside. So the idea that we have this as a potential one, two, one, two is still there and fits the higher time frame count. Well, what about that ABC? How does that fit? Well, as it is a corrective structure and we would be going upwards, we could be creating a larger WXY. If, again, this becomes large enough, meaning that we are creating enough of these corrective structures, this whole thing could be getting another sideways structure altogether linked up this with this first one to create a larger ABC or a lar larger WXY. Again, this amount of waste of time here is comparable already to the impulse wave structure that we had here. So again, uh, we don't need to be making this larger anymore. If we would be comparing this uh, here, you could be seeing that it, it, it would be quite extreme. I currently like it very much that this would be done here. And instead of go going and climbing up correctively, we would be starting an impulse to the upside. But that's all I got for Bitcoin at this point. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. And again, uh, if you're interested in more of the signal possibilities, check out CTC. If you're more interested in something else, look out uh, for the following advertisements at the end. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. couple of advertisements here. Patreon, Elif Wave Basics course, weekly live streams and more Elif Wave analyzers. Udemy, Elif Wave Advanced course, including RSI, risk management, Elif Wave strategies and time analyzers and candle trend capital trade setups education and community. Check us out if you're interested in learning more.